Welcome back to Pleasant View. Today we are playing the Broke family. The Broke family live here in the Pleasant View trailer park at 55 Woodland Drive. This is Brandy Broke and her sons Dustin and Bo. Their bio says Brandy was left to raise two boys alone following her husband's suspicious pool ladder accident. With Dustin acting out, can Brandy teach young Bo to make the right choices in life? Let's load the lot and find out. Here we are in the Broke family trailer, and as soon as we load the lot, we find them standing here in the living room, and we get a pop-up that says, Bo Broke is growing fast, and Brandy wants to teach him all the skills he needs to stay out of trouble. Click on Bo to teach him to walk and fulfill wants for both Sims. So we can see that Brandy has the want to teach Bo to walk, and Bo also has the want to learn to walk. So the first thing we're going to do is click on him and teach him to walk. This is a scripted event, so he's also already very close Good to learning how to walk and this is just to teach the player about teaching uh, toddler skills we're also going to be playing Dustin here but he's about to go off to school so we're gonna kind of ignore him right now and play him when he gets home from school when he'll be having his very first kiss with Angela Pleasant so Brandy just taught Bo how to walk and she is so very proud of him she wants things to go differently for Bo unfortunately Dustin has been getting in a lot of trouble and acting out since his dad passed away and Brandy is hoping that Bo will not follow in his footsteps now if we follow the Prima guide the next thing we're gonna do is teach Bo his potty training skill now he is not close to learning that it's gonna take a while uh, for Brandy to teach this to him so today she's just gonna work on teaching him his potty skill and then if she has the energy teaching him how to talk but I don't know if they'll get around to that or not we are gonna be doing something a little bit differently in this episode I have been listening to your feedback about the series and a lot of people don't like the long intros so I'm gonna try something different where I give you the family's backstory as we play instead of doing an intro in the beginning and then doing the let's play so let me know if you like this format better and also I'm gonna go calculate Brandy's secondary aspiration and fix her lifetime one and I'll let you know what I come up with Guys, Brandy is a family sim, so I'm giving her the family tree minus super fertility, and she rolled a secondary aspiration of romance. Can you believe it? Romance and family. I always love that combination, but it usually results in a whole lot of babies. Brandy's lifetime want is to graduate three children from college, which she shouldn't have any problem doing. We'll see how her kids do whenever it comes to uh, college time. <laughs> Dustin just got home from school today and he is doing horribly in school. He has not cared about his grades at all since his dad died and Brandy is coming outside to lecture him on his grades. He also brought his girlfriend Angela home and he is quite embarrassed that he is getting yelled at by his mom in front of his girlfriend. Angela was like, I don't want to see this. I'm going inside and Brandy is giving him quite the lecture here. Oh, she's very upset, and that did not help their relationship at all. Um, it's not that great. They're not even friends anymore. And now she's going to talk to him about making out. Okay, Brandy. She's like, be careful. I know you've got a girl in your room. And he's like, Mom. <laughs> So what we want to do now, Brandy has been working with little Bo all day, trying to teach him to talk and trying to potty train him. She has not been successful. So we're going to focus on Dustin here and he's going to go have his very first kiss with Angela. He's going to go into his room here and she's already in here playing pinball waiting for him. She got a little, she felt a little bit awkward about having to witness him getting in trouble. So he's going to come in and he's just going to go for it. They're just going to have their first kiss right away. Aww. I love the little first kiss cut scene. So Angela, she sees something in Dustin that a lot of other people don't see, including her father. He is enemies with her father, Daniel Pleasant. Daniel does not like his sweet princess hanging out with his lowlife criminal trailer park boy okay <laughs> now they are in love so let's look at their relationship but and they have one bolt of uh, chemistry not the greatest in the world but Angela she just sees potential in Dustin she knows that he can be more and she tries to encourage him to do better in his life so they are in love going steady and he's gonna go ahead and say goodbye to her now he doesn't have any more wants related to her Aww. And then we're going to go back to focusing on Brandy and Bo. 
It is 3.30 p.m. and Brandy has just alerted me that she is getting her very first baby bump. That's right. Brandy is pregnant by her late husband, Skip. Um, she got pregnant just before he passed away. And now life is going to get really hard for her. She's going to have three children. She has no income coming in whatsoever. She doesn't have a job. And now it's going to be very difficult for her to get a job uh, being pregnant. She will probably have to apply for welfare benefits just to make it through this. Life is not easy for Brandy. Brandy was so exhausted that she had to go to bed early. And it's 6 p.m. now. Dustin is taking care of little Bo. Bo has to go to the bathroom. He needs to be potty trained and he needs to be fed. One thing we can say about Dustin is he might be having a hard time. He might be acting out right now. But he is a good brother and he always steps up and helps to take care of little Bo. And Bo does not want to use the potty. We're going to have Dustin go. He wants a bottle. He's asking Dustin for a bottle. Okay, I think he's going to go get it on his own. All right. So, Dustin is going to take care of Bo for the rest of the night while Brandy rests. Brandy did tell Bo uh, Dustin that there is going to be a new baby. Dustin was not crazy about that. Because now he knows that he's going to have to <laughs> help take care of another baby. But he also really does love his siblings. Now, Dustin is trying again to potty train Bo since he had his bottle and he's much more cooperative now. Um, let's see how close he is. He's about halfway there. And Angela has just called and asked Dustin if he wants to sneak out with her tonight. We are going to say yes, he definitely does. I do not think Dustin would pass up that opportunity. Let's just hope he doesn't get caught by the police. She's going to come pick him up at 1 a.m., so he needs to go get some sleep now. Um, I'm just going to check on Bo. He seems to be doing fine. He's playing in the toilet, which is always a huge pain in the butt. Um, Dustin's just going to get some leftover pizza and go sleep until Angela comes to pick him up. It's 1.15 and Angela just arrived to pick up Dustin. Uh, he was already awake playing a little pinball. And he's going to run out here and get in this fancy freaking car that she drove up in. I don't know where she got this car. I'm just going to assume that she got it from one of her dad's uh, or her mom's friends. That she know, knew where this car was kept and she knew how to get a hold of it. And she went and stole it so that they could go on a joyride. Now we just have to keep our eyes peeled and hope that Dustin doesn't get arrested. Uh-oh. Brandy was just in the kitchen making breakfast and look what happened. Here comes Dorian Cocker, which is one of the Pleasant View police officers. Um, okay. That was weird. Okay, he dropped off Dustin. I thought he was going to say something, but apparently Dustin just appeared here. You guys saw that. Um, he got arrested. He still has handcuffs on. He's crying about it. Now, he's got to go in and face Brandy. Um, I don't know how she didn't see the uh, police sirens out there, but she or the police lights out there, but she did not. She desperately needs fun. I'm going to have her watch TV, and let's see if Dustin can get past her. Okay, he's going inside, and she totally just saw him come in and didn't say a word. I think Brandy has pretty much given up on Dustin, which is pretty sad. She didn't even ask him, like, where have you been? Or she didn't lecture him or anything. But I think he may have learned his lesson because he is totally in there just crying away. Why don't you take a bath, Dustin? Maybe Brandy is like, it is, you know, 4 o'clock in the morning. I will deal with this tomorrow. This is just too much right now. It's 7, 10 a.m. and Dustin was getting ready for school. He decided to go and tell his mom what happened last night. Um, he started telling her about how he got arrested. Let's see how this conversation is going to play out. He's like, Mom, I'm so sorry. I went out last night and I didn't do my math homework. <laughs> and the police brought me home. And I'm sorry. <laughs> and she's laughing at him. She thought that was hilarious. Look at this. That was a belly laugh. He's like, Mom, I got arrested. And she's like, ha, 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 <laughs> Wow, Brandy. I don't know. Maybe she's delirious from her pregnancy hormones. But that was not the reaction I was expecting. <laughs> and Dustin still has his handcuffs on. I don't know what's up with that. Dustin just got home from school. He brought a friend, Ricky Cornier. 
that's how I'm going to say it, Cornier, home from school. This is a Pleasant View townie, so I'm going to allow it. But Dustin has to go to work um, very shortly. He has to be at work in like an hour. The carpool is going to come. So he doesn't have much time to hang out with Ricky. He definitely doesn't have time to work on his homework, which he doesn't want to do anyway. He just wants to earn money. And he has no wants to talk to or interact with Ricky whatsoever. So I'll just let him go on his own. Maybe Ricky will join him for some pinball and they can start up a friendship. Maybe not. Uh, Brandy is not doing well. She is very, very hungry and she was also very exhausted, so I had to send her to sleep. Uh, she actually fell asleep standing up while she was trying to clean the bathroom. As you can see, she did not succeed. So I'm going to wake her up to get her something to eat. Luckily, she made some omelets earlier so she can just go grab a plate. And look, Dustin and Ricky are playing games together, so that's pretty cool. I really want her to hurry up and eat. She's going into hunger desperation. Get over there, Brandy. Run! Run to the fridge! <laughs> eat those leftover omelets. And little Bo is almost potty trained. Unfortunately, she's barely been able to work with him on his talking, so he might be a little bit behind in his speech. He's going to be behind the other children in his speech, but he'll get caught up after he ages up. Right now, I just want to get him potty trained if possible. Brandy is potty training Bo again now, and he is, like, almost there. So this might be the final time. All right. He has just become potty trained, and that fulfilled two big wants for both of them. Ooh, now she wants to flirt. I am going to lock in flirt because we need to get Brandy a love interest after she has this baby. Now, she doesn't have much energy, so she's going to go back to bed. Hopefully, we can get Dustin to help out with some chores whenever he gets home, if he has the energy. This is just tough, you know? It's just really difficult. Uh, Ricky is still here. Like, he didn't take the hint that he should leave when Dustin went to work. He's just hanging around, I guess. Um, but it's really difficult. It's really hard on them. Brandy is so tired from her pregnancy. She doesn't have time or energy to clean and take care of Bo. Bo is taking everything that she has just to keep him alive, just to keep him fed and bathed. And then Dustin also has school and his job, which is their only source of income. So it is very hard. Uh, right now. And it looks like Brandy is getting her second baby bump. All right. So it's four, uh, about 4.30 when she got her second baby bump. So we're going to be having a baby tomorrow at around 5, 5.30. And Ricky is coming to greet Brandy. Um, she's like, I don't know what you're talking about, dude. Just leave me alone. I am like nine months pregnant. Okay. I got to go to sleep. Get out of here. Dustin just got home from work and he is quite pleased with himself. He has been promoted to numbers runner level two. Um, he got, he brought home 30 simoleons and a bonus of 60 simoleons. Bo just aged up to a child in the bathroom all by himself, guys. I'm so sorry about that. I, uh, was not paying attention at all. I thought we still had another day, but he totally just aged up in the bathroom by himself with no birthday cake and nobody there to give a crap. Oh my gosh, that is so sad. Um, he's grown into a child. As a toddler, he achieved the aspiration level of miracle might. So, poor little Bo, he didn't even get a birthday party or anything. That is so sad. Brandy was so exhausted, like, she just couldn't even stay awake anymore. And Dustin Dustin just got home from work, so maybe Dustin and Bo will do a little celebrating of their own. Uh, that's just really sad to me, but that's how it is in this family. Well, now that Bo has aged up to a child, this would be a good time for us to check out his personality. He is a Gemini, and uh, I just want to compare his personality to Brandy's. He's actually a lot like her, but he's way more neat. He is, Brandy and Dustin are slobs, but Bo is actually neat, and now he's old enough to really help out around the house. I think that's really going to be a huge help to Brandy. Um, he can actually, like, do dishes and take out trash and things like that. He's also very outgoing. He's a little lazy and a little serious, and he's in between nice and grouchy, so he's not, like, super nice or super grouchy. He actually has a bio that says, Bo finds it hard to escape his genetic destiny, but maybe with his mother's help, he can beat the odds. And, oh my gosh, Dustin's fallen asleep in the, in the chair here. And Bo is already cleaning. He went straight away and put something in the trash. Um, he's interested in food. Wow, very interested in food, environment, and school. And then his hobby, of course, is music and dance. 
And that's really all we know about little Bo. We're going to get to know him more as he ages up. He is a very independent child. I can tell you that. He's like, he just had his birthday on his own, and, like, he didn't even let that affect him. Um, nobody has even talked to him on his birthday. How sad is that? Let's wake Dustin up and at least have Dustin talk to him or something. He wants to make a friend. He he never learned to talk, so he was kind of behind in his speech. Um, and maybe he can make friends with his brother. Let's see. They are almost friends, so let's have Dustin go and talk to him. Dustin, wake up and go talk to your brother. Go tell him happy birthday, please. I feel so sorry for the kid. Bo also has nowhere to sleep, um, so we're gonna have to buy a bed for him. Luckily, Dustin gave his 90 simoleons that he made at his job, he gave it to his mom to help with the bills. Now he's gonna hang out with Bo a little bit, um, and that makes me feel a little bit better about this super sad birthday. In the meantime, I'm gonna buy a bed. We're just gonna buy the cheapest bed we can get. And I just plopped it down here in the living room so that Bo at least has a place to sleep and he doesn't have to share a bed with his mom, which is kind of weird. It's 6.30 in the morning on Wednesday morning. Brandy woke up feeling very guilty about missing out on Bo's birthday. She rolled the want to be best friends with him. I decided to lock that in and put all her flirting wants uh, on the back burner for now because she needs to spend time with her children. Like I said, she was feeling quite guilty and she has vowed to pay more attention to Bo and spend more time with him um, over the coming days. She doesn't want him to end up like Dustin. It's 4.15 on Wednesday afternoon. Brandy is due to go into labor in a little over an hour. She's right now, she's helping uh, Bo with his homework. He wanted to ask her for homework help, do his homework, and get an A-plus report card. He is such a good student. He really likes working on his schoolwork. Dustin should take a lesson from him. Dustin has the day off today, but he doesn't want to do anything homework related. He wants a handheld game. He wants to earn money. He wants to go to college and wants to get into private school. That's a joke. That's a laugh. He only has that one because he is a fortune sim, so they always want to get into private school, but it's not going to happen for this family. There's no way they could possibly impress the headmaster. Um, let's just talk about Dustin really quick. He is a an Aries, which normally would be a popularity sim, but because he is created by Maxis, he's actually a fortune sim. He's sloppy, but he's quite outgoing, playful, and nice. He's a little on the lazy side as well. He's actually not a bad kid. He just sort of has gone astray. Um, it was really difficult on him to lose his father as a teenage boy. All right, let's send Brandy to sleep and then she'll wake up in like 30 minutes whenever uh, it's time for the baby to be born. Okay, the baby is coming. Now, it could be a boy or a girl because I am using clean templates, so the DNA information has been restored. This will not be a clone of Brandy. And I'm also using equal genetics, so the baby could have black hair or blonde hair like his father, Skip. And I really, really hope it's a girl, but I'll be okay with a boy too. So here it comes, and we're actually going to get to see the bird. Come on, be a, please be a girl, please be a girl, let's see. It's a boy! It's a blonde haired boy! Oh, Blonde hair and dark blue eyes. Okay, so he needs a name. Now, I'm normally I name Brandy's baby Bobby, but because I did that in my last Pleasant View Let's Play, I'm actually going to give this baby a different name. His name is going to start with the, the letter E, uh, which is the first in my alphabetical naming list. So we are going to name him Eric. So this is little Eric Broke, and I cannot wait to see what he's going to look like. And I'm so happy that my equal genetics mod is working so that he was born with blonde hair. Now Brandy wants to have 10 children. Oh my god, Brandy. Are you kidding me? That's insane. I don't know if that's going to happen for her. That would be a power want. I don't know if I... I'm going to lock it in. I'm going to lock it in. I don't know if it's going to happen for her, but hey, it's something to shoot for, right? <laughs> Baby boy's birthday is only a day away. His name's not Baby Boy. His name's Eric. <laughs> So I'm gonna have Brandy go put him in bed and she has got to go to sleep. Actually, she's gonna have to feed him really quick and then she's got to go rest. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. Let me know what you think about the new format. Also, I want to know from you, leave a comment down below and let me know 
uh, was, did Brandy have a boy or a girl in your neighborhood if you use the cl clean templates? And if you use equal genetics, what color hair did he or she have? Let me know all about Brandy's unborn baby in your game. I would love to hear about it. This concludes the setup episode for the Broke family. If you guys like this, don't forget to give me a thumbs up, subscribe if you all haven't already, and hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of my upcoming videos. You can also visit my blog at PleasantSims.com, and I will see you guys with a new episode very soon. We're going to be playing the Dream family next.